So here's my point. Whether you like Trump or not, whether you believe it's Trump's fault or Biden's fault, here's where we're at as a world. The Taliban are not reformed. They're not new. They have a view of the world out of sync with modern times. They're going to impose a lifestyle on the Afghan people. But most importantly, they're going to give safe haven to al-Qaeda, who has ambitions to drive us out of the Mideast writ large and attack us because of our way of life. We will be going back into Afghanistan as we went back into Iraq and Syria. To the Hang on, you, are you, are you oh, seriously yeah. think the United States will once again, we'll in, have to. in a foreseeable future, yes. put troops back into Afghanistan? We'll have to, we'll have to, because the threat will go so, will be so large. Why did we go back to Syria and Iraq? Why do we have 5,000 troops in Iraq today? Here's my solution. Help the resistance in the Panjir Valley. The Taliban will not be able to govern Afghanistan. They're hated by the Afghan people. What's going to happen over time is you're going to see the resistance rise. ISIS will come after the Taliban large, and the entire country is going to fracture in the next year, creating a perfect storm for Western interests to be attacked.